Kamen Rider Forza is a lot of people's favorite rider show, and for good reason. It keeps the core appeal of the franchise with a more optimistic energy, though Forza's optimistic tone came from some unfortunate world world events. The 2011 Tokohoto earthquake devastated a chunk of Japan, so the producers at Toei wanted to provide a show that can cheer people up and give people hope in a desperate time, a philosophy that translated into the series protagonist, Kisaraki Gentaro. Gentaro is a good boy who may be a bit of a troublemaker at times, but still has a heart of gold that wants to make friends with everyone he meets, becoming a role model to many people throughout the series. He managed to balance being a super cool bro to his friends and being a charming dork, which makes him one of the most dynamic personalities of the franchise's main leads. However, Gentaro wouldn't be half as great of a character if he didn't have great characters to interact with, and that comes in the form of the Common Rider Club. Even when these guys aren't the focus of an episode, they still manage to be useful and fun characters with relatable high school issues to deal with. It also helps that we see a variety of dynamics between this cast instead of Gentro being the only link between them, which helps flesh these guys out more. However, my personal favorite character in the show comes in the form of the secondary writer, Ryusei, aka Kamara Meteor. He may start off as a cool loner character, but even early on it's shown that he has more to him than that surface level description, like a heartful motivation for becoming a writer, that being to save his friend from a coma that a monster put him in. But what really cemented him as one of my favorite writers was the moment during the final form arc where he betrayed the Kamen Rider Club in order to save his friend, but realizes what a terrible decision that was and protects the club during a vulnerable moment when Gentaro isn't around. While the individual villains in Forza are pretty dope, I think they work best analyzed as a core idea. Most of the villains in this show are adults that misuse their positions of power for evil, which is a smart way to use the high school setting. Aesthetics-wise, Forza's base suit is based off an astronaut suit, with the helmet being based on a rocket. I quite like this suit despite the clean white color making it hard to work with on set, but the best suit of the season goes to Meteor, that helmet representing a shooting star, the base suit showcasing the stars of space, and of course, that cool blue coloring makes for one of the coolest rider suits ever. Overall, while I may not have talked about as much as other seasons, Forza is still a really fun show, and I can see why it's a lot of people's favorite season thanks to its relatable, emotion-driven storytelling and characters. It's not afraid to wear its feelings on its metaphorical sleeve, which is very much appreciated. That's that's all I got, so remember that space is awesome, which is why we must stop Jeffrey Bezos from pissing on the moon.